Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with another house project. So as you can see, I have been working on landscaping my front yard or gardening. <laughs> and it is definitely a learning experience. My mom is a master gardener. I am a beginning gardener. So this is a lot of her help, advice, doing exactly what mom says, but so far, I'm loving it. We've been putting plants in and now I'm starting to do the beds. So today I am going to show you how we, and by we I mean my mom and brother because I had a knee injury that prevents me from kneeling super much. They were nice enough to come help me install this black border around the entire bed so that I can mulch and put down grass and maybe pull this whole thing together. So I actually got this black metal border from Lowe's. I will put a link down below. Um, and we, we were struggling with it a bit when we first got it because we could not get the stakes off, but figured that out. And it went in both sides and maybe an hour, hour and a half. So I'm gonna show you that whole process today in case you decide you want to add this to your garden beds. It was a pretty quick and easy solution they were, I believe, $12.99, so pretty cost effective. Maybe not the cheapest solution, but cheaper than a lot of solutions, which I was pretty happy with. And it's removable, so eventually when I move, if I want to take it with me, I can. It will contain my mulch, and I can grow my grass right up to it. So all in all, I'm pretty excited because I really want to get this mulched. Let's jump right in. I'm going to show you the whole process, and then I will show you a little tour. Okay, so in order to put these borders in, first we laid out exactly where we want the border of the garden to go with an old garden hose, the green one on this side. And that is where we are going to try and lay these black borders that we got from Lowe's. So before we can start pounding them in, we have to get the stakes off of either side and we tried a few different ways and they were all very hard and then mom looked it up online yes lady at lowe's they didn't know hey show show the nice people on youtube how you get these things off because we were having no luck snapping them off before so what do you do you put one foot down here and you put regular pliers Right. And then you just twist it. So twisting is the key. Because yeah. we tried well, to do leverage. it without the leverage and without the twisting and it was not working. And then we tried 10 snips and that wasn't working. I know the lady in the video we watched said to use gloves, but it looks like if you keep your hands away, you're okay. And they've done all the, all the, ones, on this all the ones on this side pretty quickly. Yeah, it took about like 10 minutes right sugar i guess we'll go do the ones on the other side We've got all our helpers out here mom sugar say hi mom cinnamon betty me and will lily's down there too so let's keep going
Not the flocks. Why? What's wrong with this one? I don't know how I want that one. I might want to go there and... hmm. Okay, just a minute. I'm get up and I gotta figure out exactly how far I want that one to go. I sure do. Hey, sicky buggy, you're so pretty. All right, y'all, as you can see, once you get the stakes off, I wouldn't say it's super easy, but it is easy enough. Lay this bad boy out and pound those stakes into the ground. If you have dirt instead of grass, or dirt instead of grass, dirt instead of sand, down here I have more of a sand, down here I have more of a dirt. The dirt, of course, is harder to pound into, but it holds the stakes better the sand keeps wanting to eject them. So it did work, but it just depends on your ground how it's gonna go for you. But here is the overall look on this side. I'm going to obviously put some more plants in some of these areas and then come in to mulch everything. We ran out, I wasn't sure if we were going to go around this tree or not, but we ended up including it. So I need to buy at least one more black piece over there since I did not purchase enough for that originally. But I love how it looks. It looks way more professional. 
than what I had before, which was nothing. And once I get everything mulched and grassed, it's gonna look so good. Look how, look how pretty my porch looks. You can see the stain bucket there. I just finished staining it. I absolutely love how it turned out. You can see the hoses. Now this is what we had used at the beginning that I showed you to lay out the design so that we could get exactly what we wanted. And once the plants fill in here, it's gonna be great. This was kind of a strange video, but I just thought we were having trouble with it at the beginning. Once we figured it out, it went super easy. So hope that this helped you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.